It was a gorgeous April Saturday at Darien High School, home and away students being allowed to attend for the first time this year. And perfect timing, too, for another classic showdown between rivals Darien and New Canaan. Darien is the number one ranked team in the state, defending champs, and certainly looked like it from the opening draw. Jamison Moore winds up for the early strike to get the wave on the board. He would score three for the blue wave. And then Fogo Ty Comiskey, remember him? Wins the draw and goes all the way down and gets in on the action with a nice goal in front. They weren't done yet. Matt Menekis smokes another goal in front and then Connor O'Malley with the fee from Finn Picorni and look out, Darianne is up 4-0 just five minutes in. And New Canaan coach Chip Buzio lets his team have it during a timeout. It must have resonated because New Canaan finally wakes up. Tommy Augustine dumps one under Andy Demopoulos to get the Rams on the board, followed quickly by Chris Kinnett, and it's only a two-goal lead for Darianne. Even after Matt Stein scores on this shot for Darianne, Augustine answers to get New Canaan within two again midway through the second quarter. And then later, Nick Stiles scores on a feed from Kinnett in front to get the Rams back within two again, 6-4. But Darianne's Demopoulos isn't considered the state's best goaltender for nothing. Demop stymies a handful of New Canaan shots to keep the Rams' comeback hopes at bay. He made five big ones in the second quarter and at 13 overall. It had to be demoralizing for the Rams because on cue, Darianne starts pouring it on. Matt Stein scores his second goal and then Matt Minicus again for the 9-4 halftime lead. And it went on like this. Darian gets two more to start the third quarter from Moore. And then Joe Cesari and Darian with the convincing 15-6 victory. Proving once again that it's the best team in the FCAC and quite frankly the entire state. But what else is new? Yeah, well we had the ideal start. We came out fast. We came out hard. Um, and our shots fell fell early. Uh, I think we we did what we needed to do to, to kind of put the pressure on and shut them down from the get-go. Uh, but they, they came back, they gave us a really good game. I was happy the way we, way we responded uh, to that, you know, that, that uh, you know, they were chipping away, made it a two-goal game at one point, I think, and then, you know, we kept, we kept answering. If we're up by that much, we just gotta lock down our defense, just do what we do on offense, and uh, just keep going. Whenever Andy makes is a big save, we, we, we get a lot of confidence from him and, and he takes a lot of confidence away from them. So having him back there is it's a really nice feeling because you know he's going to steal a few from them. Um, yeah, I mean, I could have all my guys. Jeremiah, Sam, Oliver, David. Those are all my guys that helped me out. Uh, goal is nothing with his defense and it, it really showed today. We're, we're a very explosive offensive team. Uh, we've got the best goalie in the state. Um, so they're going to have to shoot real well to beat him. And, uh, you know, I think that was you know, two of the different difference makers. We feel like we're in a good spot. Uh, the team's come a long way from the beginning of the season. Uh, we still have a lot, of, lot to work on coming up. A uh, couple really big games down the stretch. A um, lot to work on for both of those games. Uh, but we're, we're happy with where we're at. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy you know, game four to have that one under our belt. But, you know, as I said with Richfield, you know, we're going to have to play Richfield again. We have uh, New Canaan on the schedule at their place again later in the season. So, you know, and the odds are we'll face, you know, Richfield and New Canaan, not just that time, but probably somewhere in the playoffs. So, you know, uh, everybody's going to learn from playing each other. And, you know, it gets harder and harder, you know, and, uh, you know, they'll come up with some strategy that, that will help them, uh, you know, try and narrow the gap.